Hey everyone, welcome to the Working Dad Chronicles episode number four. If this is the first episode that you've watched, I've had a couple of them for this, but what I really discuss is two things. One, sharing some of the learnings that I've taken away from being uh, on parent bonding leave, which has been sponsored by my employer, Microsoft, and sharing some of those learnings um, of how to solutionize and overcome challenges at home and how they apply to some of the challenges you may incur at work. The second thing is to just bring more attention to this idea of parent bonding leave so that um, employers, employees, colleagues, friends, mentors can be more empathetic and contribute more to the time because I think it's very important um, to really harmonize what's going on at work and at home. Um, and this was really inspired by an Economist article that I read, and I'll go ahead and I'll put the source in the comments, but it talked about more women entering and participating at work, um, women who are mothers, and why it's so important for fathers to stay at home. Um, not only does it create more equity for w women and allow them to choose jobs that they love and um, help them contribute to the financial well-being of their families as well as the economy, um, but it helps fathers take up more domestic tasks, which again helps women have more freedom to do the things that they love, um, as well as helping develop this relationship that the father has with the kids. So I'll put the, the article in the comments. Um, but my quick story and how I kind of tiered some of these lessons I want to share with today came from this time a couple weeks ago um, where I had to take care of both my sick infant son and my sick toddler daughter. And I got absolutely crushed on this day. It was one of the hardest days I've ever had to overcome both physically and mentally. Um, and afterward, I reflected on some of the things that I observed and some of the things that I felt and the pain that I had. And I came up with these three different things that I think will help people not over, not only overcome tough times, um, but also how to prepare for them. Um, and this three-tiered mental model consists of the following things. Number one, it's how to take more control. So when you're approaching a tough day, a tough time, a tough pitch, how do you take more control of that time, of that being that is presenting or in that moment? And for me, it's waking up at 4.30 in the morning before my family wakes up, before most of regular human beings wake up and taking care of the things that I have to do so that when that tough time comes, I feel like I'm in control. I've been doing that every single day since that tough time and it's helped tremendously. The second thing is to really slow down when you are in the moment or do something in the moment that will help you breathe better, that will help you think better. And in my case, with the crying babies and the Mary Poppins in the background and my wife and my mom calling me on the phone to talk about medicines and, and diapers and all these different things, I was going nuts. But one of the things that helped me out was to just breathe and take things slow. I literally remember walking to the microwave to get the bottle, slowly get going and getting the diapers slowly, and it just helped me deal with the situation at the time. And finally, the third thing is to take time to reflect after these tough moments. Um, I do that in a journal. Um, it's very important, I think, to understand why something was tough, admit to yourself that you got crushed, and think to yourself how you can make sure that in the future um, you can handle these different things a lot better. So please feel free to DM me. Those are my three lessons that I took away from this momentous time with my sick kids. Um, but I think they really do anecdotally parallel with some of the challenges that we need to overcome at work and at home. And I'd love to uh, start up a commentary and start sharing some of our perspectives here. So thanks a lot.